All right, home gym athletes, happy Wednesday. Workout today, we're doing three rounds for time. Uh, we have some strict pull-ups, 20 strict pull-ups, 20 ab mat sit-ups, 20 double dumbbell push jerks, and 20 more ab mat sit-ups in each round. Doing that three times, three rounds, four times. Um, let's go through the movement. So first movement, strict pull-ups. You may or may not have a pull-up bar at home. Um, if you don't, don't worry about it. We can uh, find something that you can do. Some kind of a bent over row is my usual substitution for this movement. So you have something that's kind of heavy, obviously, or obviously, hopefully. Um, heavy bag, heavy bag of cement, have heavy case of bottled water, I don't know, whatever you got. But a bent over row, of course, we're looking on kind of, we kind of set ourselves up with the shoulders back and down, belly tight. Send those hips back, and ideally the, the back is relatively parallel to the floor, maybe shoulders a little bit higher than the hips, it's fine. We start with arms fully extended, drawn towards the floor, not on the floor. Uh, and then pulling straight up, right? Kind of pulling those elbows straight up towards the ceiling and pulling whatever weight that is right into the chest. So this is a very good substitution for strict pull-ups. Um, and if you do have a pull-up bar, do some strict pull-ups. Try to keep them strict. Use a band if you have to, whatever you have at home. Ab mat sit-ups, of course, may or may not have an ab mat. If you don't have an ab mat, what works really well is a folded up towel, you know, if you have like a shower size towel, kind of roll it up so it's, you know, maybe uh, ab mat is probably about maybe 12 to 15 inches wide. And just kind of put that rolled up towel underneath your lower back. The beauty of an ab mat is it actually supports your lumbar spine so you maintain that lumbar curve here in your low back as opposed to pushing your low back into the floor, which isn't that great for your back. And it also kind of disengages your abdominal muscles. So we have that uh, support right here, the ab mat, the roll of towel, whatever. It actually maintains this lumbar curve right here, keeps it in extension, and that way it can actually engage the abdominal muscles much better. Um, so try that if you can. Um, if for some reason you don't like that or can't do that, second best thing to do is to actually tuck your toes underneath something solid that you might have there, maybe the corner of your couch or whatever. But if you can kind of anchor your feet down by tucking your toes underneath something, Again, same idea, kind of helps you engage your abdominal muscles and your hip flexors and everything a little bit better while you're doing your sit-ups. Um, and then third and final movement, we have some overhead, some double dumbbell push jerks. So this could be, as, again, as usual, if you have two dumbbells on the heavier side, use them. Um, if you have a barbell, if you have some kind of weighted object, ideally, these push jerks in the workout today are on the heavier side by design. Um, I'll show you why. So push jerk, let me demonstrate this, make sure you can see me here. So push jerk, there's three different parts to a push jerk, uh, three positions we're focusing on today. Um, there is the dip, right? So we're assuming I have a weight here. I'll grab these dumbbells, my big 12 pound dumbbells here. So whatever weight you're using today, right? Should be resting on the shoulders, elbows up in front. Our dip, when we start with, we can make sure the full foot is flat on the floor, especially the heels. We start by dipping, right? You'll notice all I'm doing is this real slight bend of the knee, shallow dip. Um, we're looking for a vertical torso, which means I'm not leaning forward at all, not leaning backwards, dropping straight down, shoulders are right over the hips, and the elbows are up nice and high. This is our dip position. What we're doing in class today is we're hanging out here, little pause, one, two, stand, dip, one, two, stand. I would highly encourage you to do this at home as well. Just getting real comfortable, making sure those heels are flat on the floor, vertical torso, and elbows are up in front of the waist. Dip and stand. Dip, pause, stand. And then our overhead position, our receiving position of our weights, right? So our receiving position, we have arms fully extended, right? We've uh, driven those uh, weights from the shoulders to overhead. And we're receiving those bars, or that weight I should say, with the hips slightly back and the knees slightly bent. This looks a lot like the dip, other than the hips are slightly back a little bit, right? So watch me from the side. When we dip, we go straight up and straight down, right? That for the torso. And when we catch, we actually send those hips back just a little bit. So minor difference. And uh, the receiving position is two things. One, it absorbs the impact of the weight, right? If you're catching that weight, like a push press, it's a little more impact throughout the body. So we're kind of absorbing the weight um, as we receive it overhead. And it actually is more efficient, dare I say, easier, 
to get heavier weight off the shoulders. Um, because rather than like a strict press or a push press, we're actually dropping underneath the bar that second time, or the weight I should say, by bending the knees. If you do it right, it should almost feel like cheating. Don't tell anybody I said that. Actually, you know, it's true. Um, it should feel like it's cheating, right? So we're going from dip to big drive, and then bend the knees second time, stand, push jerk, right? So it should make it, like I said, easier, more efficient, to get heavy weight off the shoulders. I'm hoping you have some kind of heavy weight at home. If you don't, I wish you did. Maybe grab one of your kids or something. I'm just kidding, don't do that. That doesn't sound safe. Um, so yeah, we have the push jerk, so overhead pressing strength. We have ab mat sit-ups, core strength. We all need some of that. Um, and then of course the pull-ups. We're pushing, pulling, and working the midline. Those are all the tips I have for you today. Have a great workout. Any questions, text me, email me. See you soon.